But in our scenario, everyone is oblivious to the fact that less than 300 miles to the east, a disaster of biblical proportions is about to strike. disaster is triggered by the eruption of the world's largest volcano, Mauna Loa, on the big island of Hawaii. In the case of Mauna Loa, and, and that's the 800-pound gorilla here, that's, that's the big volcano that we have to worry about. As Mauna Loa is preparing for eruption, the southwest rift zone of Mauna Loa inflates with magma the entire mountain swells, which means that the outer slopes get steeper. There are probably a, a succession of small earthquakes, and then maybe a big earthquake that shakes loose this very steep western flank of the volcano. Almost 360 cubic miles of earth and rock plummet into the sea. On impact, the land displaces a massive amount of water. The ocean rushes back to fill the giant gap. From this cataclysmic disturbance emerges the tsunami, heading directly for Honolulu. Estimated time to impact, 30 minutes. This is the direction that a, a big tsunami would come from, uh, from, from the big island. The wave first becomes visible as it stands and breaks on a shallow bank 25 miles southeast of Honolulu. You'd see the sea rear up in front of you. It would be huge. It, it would rise up above you the size of a building, the size of, of a 10-story building. Surging inland at up to 43 miles per hour, the tsunami slams into the city. Because the tsunami's energy stretches down to the ocean floor, this wave is not clean water. It's filled with sand, coral, and rock. Water penetrates 10 miles inland before being sucked back out to sea in a lethal whirlpool of wreckage. It annihilates everyone and everything in its path. These giant landslides, as far as we can tell, they seem to occur during periods of high sea level when the climate is warm. Quite why that is, we don't know. Um, but we are in a warm period right now with high sea level. So we should expect something like this within the next 10 or 20,000 years. As the unofficial tsunami capital of the Pacific, Hawaii is preparing for the future. Scientists continue to develop a global network of warning systems based on real-time seismic analysis and deep-sea wave sensors. Alarms will sound as soon as 90 seconds after the initiation of even a small tsunami. Tsunamis are global events with global ramifications. They combine the almost unlimited power of the Earth with the gargantuan might of the sea. They are a constant reminder of the awesome strength of nature. While scientists learn more about tsunamis and engineers build stronger coastal barriers and experts implement improved warning systems, individual vigilance remains essential. And you see the water withdrawing, strangely, um, curiosity shouldn't compel you to go down and see what's going to happen next. The alarm bell should be going off. It's something that we need to have embedded in our culture, in our knowledge base, and in our education so that we know what to do when the next tsunami happens. It's not if, it's when. It's something we need to learn to live with. 
As long as the phenomena that create these great waves continue, we will have tsunamis. And it's always just a matter of time before the next one strikes.